Hey guys, Master Soul Warrior here, and welcome to Chapter 14, Arcadia, aka Let's Post Commentate a part that was recorded a month and a half ago. Yay! And guess what? I got a special guest with me today. Please introduce yourself, sir. I am Mage Knight 404. I'm Chap. <laughs> oh God, help me! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, there's a ninja with huge boobs over there. That's a sniper! <laughs> Alright, back to the game. Uh, <laughs> who's this little purpley pink haired girl? Oh. Oh, hey, red hair. Transition. <laughs> okay, so this guy's named Zeus. This is Melody's little brother. The other wyvern rider you get in this game. Also, the S character. Heads up for those playing along. The S character? You know the character that comes in late with weak with weak stats, but when used when used properly, turns out to be a true powerhouse. Oh. Uh, he says. Oh. Uh, so <laughs> Apparently, <Sophia>. maybe. <laughs> okay, so this is Sophia, level one shaman. Like I said, the only thing she's good for is her flux book. And this is Cecilia. She is the Valkyrie unit. Again, only worth what she has in her inventory. So I do the smart thing, and stick them both together. Smart, but smart things were... I don't even smart know thing is that. smart. Can't <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cut there, sorry. Huh. This is the silent staff. The silent staff, when you use, will let you, um... If you use it on a magic user, it cuts off the use of enemy's magic. And there's a talisman, which increases resistance. Now, if you're wondering why there are cuts... Oh, sorry, I'm just going to explaining all of this. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. The thing is, I despise desert chapters. Hey, Toy, this where are your boots? <laughs> hey, Toy, where are your boots? In Washington, of General Taylor's ass. <laughs> that was a Band of Brothers joke, if you didn't get that. I didn't get that, but... Yeah, this desert chapter is notorious for being insanely difficult. Mainly because there's a lot of things to, like, despise in Twitter. <laughs> Yeah, Bandits, there, there heroes, are, bam coots, what, yeah, there are three mom coups coups on this map, you guys. Bandits. Did I mention mam coots? <laughs> yeah, there are three mam coots on this map, and Rutger just got the Kaiten Kemburo Kuren critical. So yeah, bring your Worm Slayer, it'll help you out a lot here. Bring magic, it'll help you out even better. True. Yeah, but my lean is already like level six or something at this point. I think I'm not sure, Just considering like I said, this was this video was recorded a month and a half ago. Speed hacks. Speed hacks. <laughs> oh, sleep staff. Yeah, there's a bishop on this map with a sleep staff, so be careful. I don't want to go to sleep, Bobby. I, mean, I want to stay and fight for best. Kaiten Kimbo Kuren. Oh yeah! God, I love that. Oh yeah! <laughs> There's a speed wings, which again increases speed by two, and that's probably also going to Barth. I am amazed at your Barth. Seriously, I've never used them before, but he turned out god tier for you. I'm like, I know my Barth Holy actually caps crap. strength and defense. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh yeah, Chad gets some pretty good level ups here too, and. Spoiler alert, he actually caps. Oh, is this the one where she gets frozen asleep? Yep, it is. I don't want to go to sleep. <laughs> oh yeah, this is important up here. In the northwest corner of the map there, with, with that pile of bones, is the silver card. What the silver card does is it can be held by any character, and any character who goes into a shop, possibly an armory, the items in that shop their price get cut in half. All items are when they when you have a silver card. Very uh, useful. Now I say that because I actually didn't get it. I thought I'd gotten it in the recording, but I actually didn't. <gasps> For shame, Lucifer! <laughs> hey, I arena views. I got more money than Jesus. <laughs> We're taking. Speaking of which, is there another arena eventually in the game? One in chapter 17, and one at chapter... Go, Melody, own him! <laughs> I believe in chapter 20... Depending on which route you take, 21, Ilya, or... 
No, not 21 Ilya. 20 Ilya and 20... Or was it 19 to say? Uh oh. I don't know. I'll... It's... <gasps> Berserker Jesus! Twin Edition! Oh god. The game. It's the game Berserkers. I actually think that their sprite reminds me of uh, the Japanese black stereotype. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. Apparently, that was random. <laughs> I'm not joking. Apparently, in Japan, the stereotype for black people is over-accentuated lips. Huh? You want proof? Look up Zamari Larue from Bleach. He's the seventh Espada. His lips are huge. Uh, anyway, these gay bandits are are just a minor nuisance at best. I mean, the berserkers, sure, an unlucky an unlucky misstep could cause death, but you should have no problem just taking sword use in front of their face. That's exactly why I have um, Milady take care of them. Joyce Cajun. And Dorothy Strutting her stuff like always. I am so happy I used Dorothy in my re most recent playthrough, because I was like, uh, maybe I'll use this, I'll, I'll use it, and I picked Dorothy. Best decision I've ever made. Die. And they actually have the same quote, they just changed the names. It's like, how unoriginal. Well, they're mook bosses. Which True. Mook bosses, except for being unoriginal. It's like a fire on Here's the second Mom Kute. Bow down before Aoshishinomori, fool. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, there's one more. It's actually... Yeah, there you go. It's right there. And there's the warp staff, which... Which, if you give it to him... Oh, here we go. This is the guiding ring. You can only get this with Sophia, so you actually need her for the map. And yes! here's the shop. I was just showing this off. I buy a few Air Caliber books. Buy Air Caliber. I should have bought a couple more lightning books because um, for something I'm doing for 14 Gaiden, I'm not gonna spoil that for anybody. By Let's just way, say that it involves a certain you priest. You need to have Sophia left alive and 20 to clear this map in 25 turns. Get the step in. Which I do. And that's going in the intro. <laughs> well, okay, it might not. I don't know. But anyway, what? Wait, what was I saying? Oh yeah, warp staff. It lets a staff user warp another unit, and that is the silver blade. Silver blade, kind of useful, except it's really heavy, so it's only situational. Whoa. Yeah, I know. Aside from the, oh, there's the other one. <laughs> yeah, I kept in all the cool stuff from the editing. <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Aside from the legendary weapons and the killer weapons, the silver weapons are basically your best bet, but I'd give them to a promoted unit of at least level 5 or higher. <coughs> That's just my opinion. High strength is of the essence when it comes to silver weaponry, and the enemies will exploit that to high hell later on in the game. Just a fair yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the tip, buddy. And here's the third You killed my older brother. YOU MUST DIE! But my older brother... <laughs> Drink some more tea... Takes care of him... Now a little warning for everybody, the other Berserker actually goes up and over the map, coming the way you came, with, with the majority of your forces. He was playing smart, because, oh, there's someone there I can't fight, I'm just gonna... I think he should be... Yeah, there he is. There you are, Rose. Melody and her awesome 25 damage. <coughs> oh yeah, that's right. That's when she got the res up. Res buzz! Res buzz! Res buzz! <laughs> and Lollum gets one. on their ass bucks. <laughs> Especially when you're playing FE6, because resistance is... Oh, wow. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Lilina can kill this guy on her own. 
That's how strong she is. She's good for something at least. Yep. Plus you could do 60 with L fire. And here's the weapon shop. Bunch of steel stuff, really. So yeah, buy stuff at your own discretion. <clears throat> Let's have Astol go nuts over here. Although I think... I forget, was this the one where it happened? Or not, I forget. You'll see when it comes up. You'll know what I'm talking about. Oh no wait, did I or did I cut that out? I guess I'll say it. Astol's uh, sword broke, so we couldn't attack with anything. <laughs> I remedied the situation, don't worry. Because there was no way I was. I love that boss theme in this game. It's so awesome. I actually like the regular enemy music that do 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 I don't know, that's just me. I do too. Ah, oh, poor Rudger. Oh, wait, was it? Like I said, I forget where. It, I, eh, I forget where it occurred. I'm, I don't even remember if I showed it or not, to be honest. And Melody once again owns something in the face. She's good at doing those. Mhm. Mm <laughs> I was checking to see what her weapon level was there. I think. Because I was trying to get her to be as good with a weapon as with uh, swords as possible. <laughs> lol, she dodges 69. <laughs> lol, 69. Lol. <laughs> so mature, man. <laughs> <laughs> and dead. You know what I actually just realized? He was a recolor. Yes! He was a recolor from more annoying boss. Oh yay. Yeah. Oh yay, yeah, Rucker deck. Oh yeah, I forgot I got a defense up. Nice. Yeah, well, and it's time. No, wait. What did I do again? Anyway, let's seize the throne, shall we? So yeah, that cutscene plays when you actually fulfill the bonus requirements. And map time! <clears throat> in the hidden village, Arcadia, stands an ancient temple. One of the divine weapons is said to be hidden in it. Roy and company were quick to follow Burns' troops who had already found their way into the temple. And the typical maps swerve around. Get ready to abuse the Elder, eh? If you played 7, you probably recognize that map. It's, uh... Well, actually, yeah, I'll say it. it's the, uh... It's the purple lava map, as I like to call it. Just do some fancy troop switching here. It's nearly the end of the video. I guess we should... I guess we should probably... I, I guess we should probably outro this now. <clears throat> well, guys, this has been part 61 of Let's Play Fui no Sarugi. I'd like to thank Mage Knight 404 for co-commentating this part. It's been it's it was really awesome of you, bro. Always a pleasure, man. Anyway, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.